In this video, we'll show you how to display any events from Salesforce and specify event colors dynamically. What does this mean? Well, let's take Joe Bloggs here, who's our contact. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create two events for Joe here. First one, we'll call it event one, which starts 12, ends at 13, click save, and this one's done. And then I'm going to add another one, which is going to be event two, which starts at, let's say, 14 and it ends at 15. Nice and easy done. Now, what you want to do is basically put two text fields directly into whatever event you're shooting from um, or whichever event you want to display into uh, Titan. So the first one is text color, the other one is back color. I'll explain how this works in a second, but for now, what we've done is we've created um, two events. So we've created event one, event two. Now, back in Titan here, I'm going to get a calendar. I'll make this calendar a bit bigger and wider here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring both of those entries directly into this calendar from Joe Blogs. So we'll go to get loud object I'm going to choose event for you obviously it can be any object let's go ahead and find ourselves event there it is okay and then bring data from Joe blogs I'll say execute and form load, and I'm going to bring all the events. Condition is going to be simple, name ID, which is this over here, equals the contact ID, which is going to be Mr. Blogs here. So we'll get his contact ID like that. So now if I apply, and then now I just have to map some fields, so I'll go ahead and do that. Some of them are could be title, which is going to be name ID, and we'll reference this to contact and say full name. Tooltip can be uh, the subject, value can be the name ID. Actual value can also be this, yeah, that works for now. And then start will be start time, end will be end date time. And then this is the bit I want to focus on, the color. So right now I'll just map it, but I won't do anything at the moment. So text is for, this color is text color, this color is back color. So let's try this for a second and see what this brings back from Salesforce. Okay, so there is our data, all right? Um, it's coming back like this. If we were to, let's say, so it's coming back this to Joe Blogs and Joe Blogs, Joe Blogs. So both of the events are coming back. This is good. This is what we want to see. Now, what if you really wanted to change colors for these specific entries? Like you really wanted to differentiate what a specific entry type is basing on the color change. So what you can do is you go to the events. As I said, you can create two fields, text color and back color. Let's say I now say text color is uh, white and back color is black. So if I click save, look what happens if I just refresh this now and we go into today. You see, the back color is black and the text is white. You can also use hex colors. Um, so for example, let's go into show blocks here for a second. One second. So let's go into the second one and let's uh, let's do some um, let's get some hex codes. So we'll say the back color is this, and then we'll just say white for now. And if I save this, let's refresh and see what happens. So there you go. You see. The color has been pulled through. So this is how you do it. Very, very simple. Um, you need to specify your fields in Salesforce. One's for uh, 
uh, the font color and the other one's for background. And then basically you could either add a hex code or you can just specify white black and then those colors will be poured in dynamically into your table. Uh, table sorry, when I say table, I mean calendar. And uh, this is how it's done.